Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Get Out Alive Survival. My name is Chris. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. So, this evening my wife and I are going to do a little camp out out here close to our house. Uh, nothing major, just a little last minute uh, camp out we decided to do. We'll have some of our dogs with us. So what I'm doing right now is just getting the basic uh, preparation for the night set up. Get some firewood processed. They got the tent and sleeping bag set up. Uh, we'll be using this fire pit. Uh, not supposed to be too too cold this evening. I think it's supposed to get down around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so we should be pretty comfortable. Um, so one of the important things I want to go over in this video is fire starting. Uh, I've been talking about doing a video on that for a while, and preparation is key if you're going to want to build a fire and do it successfully especially if you're using things like uh, fire steel or you know any kind of uh, more primitive uh, fire starting technique setup is going to be key you want to always start from small very fine twigs and branches uh, and work your way up to larger pieces build a fire that way sustain it and you'll have a much easier time getting it going so we're going to be doing uh, different shots all throughout the evening that we're out here camping. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you would, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're into bushcraft, camping, like I said when I started the channel, we're all going to do a lot of survival stuff out here, um, but we're also going to throw in some bushcraft and camping uh, videos as well. Uh, just cover a whole range of stuff. I want this channel to kind of be all things outdoors. so. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm going to continue setting up the fire, and when I'm a little closer to getting it started, uh, we'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so I'm still working on setting up the firewood for the camp out tonight. I thought I'd show you guys real quick. I am using a Fiskars x25 to cut up some of the larger pieces of wood have my uh, folding saw over there which you saw me using earlier that's the uh, same saw i had in my uh, bug out bag video so i'm just gonna uh, kind of show you guys this axe in action i really really am a big fan of fiskers um, love the uh, solid piece here with the head uh, over molded head in the handle that can't come loose i love the fiber comp handle they do really great against overstrike uh, and not breaking. These are very robust, um, strong tools to have uh, in your uh, bug out bag or your uh, camping or bushcraft kit. So I'm going to be using that to show you guys a, a little bit of it in action. And then um, next up we'll get down to starting the fire and setting all that up. So hope you guys enjoy. So, as you can see, a lot of power to it. 
good deep cuts on each swing. This is a, a very hard piece of wood right here. This tree was dead standing. I went ahead and helped clear it out of some of these other trees, but still, even with it having some rot in the bottom of it, it's still a very, very uh, hardwood tree. So this uh, Fiskars, great tool. Uh, I've used some other tools on this piece of wood. This is by far uh, held up the best and done the best cut on it. So thanks, hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely recommend these. Pick these up on Amazon, Walmart. They're quite, quite inexpensive for a tool and uh, they will last you for years to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the fire starter part of the video. So, like I said earlier, one of the most important things you can do is take time and set up uh, before you try to get your fire going. It's much easier if you take the time beforehand to prepare your kindling and all your small pieces up to your larger pieces of wood so that you can feed the fire and help and let it grow and that way it'll be ready to burn bigger pieces um, after you give it a few minutes to get going. So what I have here broken up on the fire pit are my small, medium, large pieces. I've got some larger stuff here, my bigger firewood. Um, I'm gonna be using this uh, Strike Force fire steel. So I got this. What I love about this one is the fire steel and striker right here in the same unit, uh, bound together by this cord. Uh, fire steel just slips right in this little groove and snaps shut. That way, you got both pieces with you. A lot less chance of losing them. Nice bright orange, so you can see it when you're camping. Uh, won't be easily overlooked. Also, for the fire starting, I'll show you guys this Insta Fire. So you can see that Insta Fire. Um, this is a uh, military grade fire starter. Um, it was uh, first demonstrated or come up with on the uh, Shark Tank TV series. Um, I just uh, happened upon this over in a, in a camping section and I thought I'd give it a try. It is, like I said, military grade. It's smokeless. Um, no harmful chemicals, eco-friendly. Uh, one bag, and these are waterproof bags. Um, once you open them, there is no way to seal it, but it will start up before fires. Um, eighth of a cup will burn five to seven minutes. Um, it burns at nearly a thousand degrees, so it will burn, uh, will light wet wood yeah, to a degree. Uh, burns and winds up to 30 miles an hour. Floats, burns on snow. Um, it's non-volatile, there's no unexpected flare-ups. And safe to steer nor food. Like I said, no harmful chemicals in it. And it's ash is a natural fertilizer. So those are just some of the highlights here off the package. Um, what you do, just open it. I just eyeball it, I, I never really measure it, but just pour a small pile. You want that to take your spark. So what you'll do, your fire steel, you wanna make sure when you first get your fire steel, you scrape off any of the black in the area you're gonna be using because that is a protective coating and it, uh, it won't spark until you get that scraped off. So what you wanna do is just take your fire steel, get down close, to the Instafire. There we go. Lights up pretty easily. And then once you have that burning, you're gonna to wanna to take some of your very fine and just start adding to it. Don't smother it. Don't put on too much too fast. You just wanna go ahead and let this start burning so that when the Instafire is gone, you have a good base for your fire. Just kinda of overlapping a few pieces at a time. 
and that will get your fire going. Like I said, just do a few pieces at a time. Keep adding. Once you get this base going, you can start putting larger pieces on. I go ahead and break all this up before I get the fire even going, so that way I can just add it as I need it. I'll use up the small pile or the uh, fine pieces first, and then we'll, we'll step up to some of the larger. Just give it a little time, let it burn. Like I said, an eighth of a cup will burn for about five to seven minutes, so it'll give you a good amount of time to get your fire going. It does a good job of continuing to fuel from the insta fire while your small twigs are catching fire as well. And then, like I said, from that, I'll just move up here to the medium, large, and then you can start putting on your larger firewood. So that'll be it for our, the fire starting portion, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So guys, I thought I'd go ahead and introduce you. I told you I'd do some video with uh, some of my bar dogs in it. This is mine and my wife's husky. Her name is Nova. She is about one year old. Um, she was a birthday present I got from my wife uh, last year and she has been a great addition to our family. Uh, she loves being outside, and as you can see, she loves to chew on sticks. Uh, a couple of our other dogs will be along later in the video. Uh, our German Shepherd, Nala, and we have a rescue. That's a mixed German Shepherd, Blue Healer. His name is Nash. So, as I promised in my first video, you guys will definitely get to see them um, in several videos I'm gonna be doing. They'll be on some of the campouts with us. But this is Nova. She's our Siberian Husky, and we'll see you later with the other two. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so it's gotten a little bit later. We've uh, gotten into dark now, got the fire going. Um, we're just having some food here around the, the campfire, cooking some hot dogs and stuff. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll do a little segment here in just a bit for the inside of the tent. I'll give you guys a quick shot of that. Um, but if you're in these kind of videos, let me know if you'd like to see more camp out uh, bushcraft style videos uh, This is going to be uh, a mix of survival bushcraft and camping Videos on this channel um, if you guys like it. I hope you will comment like and subscribe Let me know what you'd like to see um, Use your guys feedback to make some future videos. I have several videos coming up here in the near future uh, real quick on the fire starting don't worry, I will do a more in-depth video on the, the fire starting because I know that was a, a very short uh, little tutorial on that. We'll do a more in-depth um, beginning to you know this stage fire here very soon. And uh, we'll do the fixed blade part two video that's coming up. And uh, the bag, when it gets finished out, I'll show you guys the, the internals of the bug out bag. And I'll see you guys in a little bit with the inside of the tent. All right, guys. Like I said, I was going to do a quick little video of the inside of the tent. Got my gear bag over here, the bug out bag I did in my uh, previous video. Got all my equipment on that. A couple sleeping bags. My outdoor lantern. Uh, comfortable, very roomy for two people. But this layout, it's got the uh, fully sewn in floor, a little gear bag back there, and like I said, it's only supposed to get down to around 40 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, so should be pretty comfortable. And right here is where I'll wrap up the video. Again, I hope you guys will subscribe, give this video a like, please comment, leave any suggestions, anything you'd like to see in future videos. And like I said, I got some stuff coming up real soon. The uh, next one will probably be uh, just a little wrap up to the fixed blade overview video. And from Get Out of Live Survival, once again, I'm Chris. Thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one.